Hi everyone, Eugene here. Hope you're all well. Back again with Maria. My wifey. <laughs> my better half. Um, I don't like to say that too often, but uh, day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, I'm glad that you can join us. Today we're going to be looking at the masculines and I'll have my wife rate them in uh, give us her top three or order of preference, whatever uh, she feels. So I'm not I'm not sure that you know a lot of these because I, I I don't wear a lot of them around you, and you're not really all that versed in Guerlain because I don't really like you touching my Guerlain <laughs> perfumes. Everything else I'm okay with, but you know I like to keep my bottles in pristine condition. When he's not home, I touch them all. I know you do because I can see they've <laughs> they've kind of moved on the shelf. Yeah, like I don't got anything better to do <laughs> than move your bottles around. <laughs> okay, so you. how about I rate them in like what I would prefer, like a male wearing? Absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. Okay, so let's just kind of start here with... Um, We'll go with the, I think this is one of the oldest, actually Habit Rouge is a little bit older. This is Habit Rouge, the Eau de Toilette, um, the classic um, citrus and vanilla, um, a little bit of leather in there. Go ahead, tell us what you think of this. Kind of smells like spicy a little bit. Okay, I never really thought of Habit Rouge as spicy, but sure. Do you get any citrus in there? Yeah, I get citrus, but I also get like a peppery. Okay, kind yeah, I can see it kind of underneath in the background. To me, it's almost like this this weird aldehydic, or not quite aldehydic, but this moldy vibe in the opening. Yeah. Smells off. Yeah. Yeah. Like it? Don't like it? Um, I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's definitely that not like not something that excites me. Oh, does it remind you of anything? Is it fresh? Is it clean? Is it dirty? Is it outdated? It does smell musky. Okay. Like a dusty closet, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sure. I don't really get dusty, like, but to me, like, it's a very wet fragrance. Okay, opposed maybe, to drying maybe like dust. a, not dusty, but it, like a it, stale closet. It, it could be the leather note that you're no, getting that from. But it's, it's definitely nothing that excites me. Okay, fair enough, understandable. Habit Rouge, it's not for everybody. Um, let's go right to the Habit Rouge flanker. This is Habit Rouge dress code, very modern. Just released in the past few years. And it's uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Habit Rouge, much more sweet. They made it more wearable for the modern man. I mean, it's not... Is it much different? Yeah, it smells completely different. Okay. But this is, uh, and I know I've said this before, I mean, like this kind of doesn't really stand out. This is not something unique. It's kind of what I would expect at Shopper's Drug Mart. Oh wow, really? Is that bad? <laughs> like there's just some perfumes that you smell and you're like, that has to be expensive. You can just smell the notes. This is like, I don't know. Okay, I quite like it. I mean, it's not a bad smell, but it's not... Is it sweet? I don't know, it's more... Yeah, this has a sweetness to it and I like the heavier scents I don't really like on men sweet perfume. Um, should we tell them like what my favorite perfume is of all time? Well, if they've watched the feminines, they would probably your favorite no, perfume of all no. time. Oh yeah, <laughs> like so. Take this video with a grain of salt because since I was like thirteen, remember? What I know what it is. I'm kind of like wondering if I should edit this part out of the video. Why? Because I know what you're going to say. Jupe. Jupe. Yope. Is Yope or whatever. Yope is her all time favorite. Okay, it's not my favorite now, but when I was a younger She's girl, got this thing. That's what I would smell. I, I would 
you know. So it's a scent memory. It's a scent memory, definitely. And um, I actually quite like it. Our, we have a neighbor that wears it, and immediately I recognized it when he was wearing it. Um, it That's right. It, do, it definitely doesn't, um, I don't think it's a quality perfume, but there's just something about it that I like. Um, I would say I'll pass on that. Okay, one. fair enough, understandable. Your tastes are your own. Okay, here we have um, Guerlain Vetiver, the classic. Vetiver. Is that like earthy? Green? Well, vetiver is like a grassy plant. Oh, I like this. It's very earthy and green. and. I like this. I know you do because you've complimented me on it many oh, really? times. Yes. Yeah, I do like this. It does have a like a, a an earth smell. It reminds me of like walking. So it's a grass that like kind of, a, it, that grows in Indonesia, and it's just like pulling out a clump of grass and smelling mm, the roots. Yeah, it but does it's also smell. got a lot of citrus, and um, there's a tobacco note in here. Is there any vanilla in this? I don't believe so. Okay. It's, it's um it's it's. it's it might have this earthy dirtiness it, to it. No, it doesn't even smell dirty to me, and it, it's not sweet at all. By dirty, I don't mean armpit dirty. I mean more like um, earth earthy, dirt. soil. Soily dirty, yeah. yeah. It reminds me of like my hike I went on like a couple weeks ago. All you could smell was just soil. Right. All the leaves were falling and starting So it's a very, to, do you find it clean? It is very clean. Like a white shirt and tie Definitely. maybe. And, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a very clean smell. Like I could actually I'm absolutely thrilled that you love this. I do like this and like sometimes when Eugene's not home and I wash <laughs> sheets, I'll go down and I'll smell certain it. perfumes and I'll spray the sheets. I knew it. With it. <laughs> as long as you're not spraying them with yolk, I'm yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. But this would be something I would spray on. Okay. Anyways. I love it. So can we yeah. put this on you know the good side yeah let's do it I like that um, I actually struggled this one for a long time I found it very outdated and uh, I kind of choked on it when I first got a, a sample of it but I'm uh, enjoying it much more later uh, recently okay so here we have this is um I think I brought up the wrong bottle I was going to bring Lom Intense I'm not sure which one this is. This is the Eau de Toilette of Guerlain Ohm. I want to bring the black bottle. Okay, so this is again another very clean scent. It's very clean, but the initial thought that came to me is my cousin used to wear Calvin Klein, and this kind of smells like Calvin Klein. and. I could be totally off, but it has like Calvin a, Klein, which like, like I think of Shoppers Drug Mart, like okay. something that you would pick up at Shoppers Drug Mart. Yeah, I remember my cousin wearing Calvin Klein and used to buy at the drugstore, and this is a very similar smell to this, very uh, generic for me. It's supposed to have a mojito vibe, it's supposed to be fresh and clean, maybe some vetiver in there. I, I, a lot of citrus, definitely some musks. citrusy. Um, it is clean, but it's boring. So. Oh, you know, you're not going to offend me because I feel or the exact same else, way. I feel like it's boring. So, pass. Yeah, I. Okay. I, and I wouldn't spray it on my sheets either. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let you. Okay, here we have, um, let's go with Heritage. This is the uh, vintage Eau de, Par Eau de Toilette. I won't spray too much because this is an overpowering scent. Mm, I like this. Oh, this is like, <laughs> does this have cherry in it? No, it's got absolutely none of those tutti fruity crap that you would expect in modern I perfume. Feel like, I feel like there was a sweetness and an opening note and it had like a fruit smell to it. It might have some tonka. I really like this. What's in this? Cherry. I, I do smell like... Mm, I, I don't think there's any cherry at all. 
We're gonna there have to might be a lot out. of florals. Um, patchouli is the meat, like it's built around patchouli really? and ambers and a lot of spices, some frankincense, there's some incense. Frankincense in and incense for sure. Because I'm thinking of like the essential oils that I put on my body and frankincense is definitely one. And patchouli I'm not a huge fan of on its own, like as an essential oil. It's, right, on its own it's it kind of harsh the greatest. and it, yeah. it, outdated but when but it's I mixed properly it. by I, a I, master I, perfumer winner so I what do you think one. i like it um i don't think this is um an everyday type of perfume this is like us going out okay on a day dressed up dressed up is it masculine <laughs> or is it do you find it masculine yeah or very masculine very masculine yeah leading? like if i were to smell this on anything i would definitely think a male should be wearing this. Yeah, for, absolutely. However, I like it's an 80s powerhouse. Like, would you agree with that? I would wear it. Would you? Yeah. I, I think you would because it does, it kind of resembles your style, old church, dusty, dry books. Um, Kind of, you know, the corners are, are broken. It's very sharp and strong and the corners are broken down with some sweet. It has a sweetness to it. Um. Some sweet florals and, and vanillas and tongas and it's a good one. stuff like What's that. What's it called, Dave? It's called Heritage. Heritage. So it's kind of a mixture of a lot of the past Guerlain's. And that's why they gave it the name Heritage. Because it's, it's got a lot of the Guerlain Heritage in it. All right. Okay, next we have the, the famous Lidge L'Enstant de Guerlain Pour Homme Eau Extreme. I'll just put a little bit on there. It's a little bit. For me, it's a little bit. I'm well aware. Uh, you probably shouldn't smell it very close. Hmm. It's not as strong as I thought it would be coming out. It actually has a, it's, it's soft. This reminds me of, um, I can't remember the name of that perfume, the Bond, uh, number nine, and it had that milky almond do you remember the name of that yeah perfume? that reminded you of baby pew it kind of reminded me of baby it was like one of the i love new yorks for all yeah like one out of the 70 or this is kind of what it reminds really? me really this, mm. this smells mm, like there's a well there's nutty, tea in here nutty. there's a tea it's also some patchouli a lot of citrus and, and dry dusty cacao yeah, almost like this totally makes sense chocolatey thing I actually like this. I find it very abrasive it's, in the same way that Heritage is, like yeah, very I mean, sharp and masculine. It's not, again, something you would probably wear every day. However, if I had to pick between this one and Heritage as to like a head to wear every day, I would go with this one because it's not as... It's more versatile. Yeah. Than, it's not as strong. Okay. But it does, I, I feel like there's like a nutty smell to it, like an almondy. Hmm, I'm not sure milky. if there's almond. Yeah, I don't it's, know how to describe it. It is quite milky and creamy, creamy. you know, the yeah, sandalwood's creamy. pulling out those creamy notes mixed with tea that gives it that softness. Also, I like it. a lot of contrast in this perfume. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that you like it because like it's yeah. kind of growing on me too because I wasn't the biggest fan of um, Lidge. Okay, so in the last video we did the feminines and I kind of missed one and I'm gonna throw it in here just because I really don't want to leave her out, but this is Nahima, the daughter of Fire, Jean-Paul Guerlain's, um, one of his crown jewels. I won't tell you what's in here. I just want you to smell this. This is Nahima Eau de Parfum, which is still available. Ew. <laughs> I do not like This it. actually got me kicked out of the bedroom one night. Oh. I wore it and you, like, not even a shower would do. You just kind of said, no, you gotta go. And I yeah. ended up sleeping on the sofa. It probably definitely made me sick. So this is the Grand Rose. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Very aldehydic and a lot of contrast. There's some greenness in here. I, mm -mm. It's an absolute no. No, I, definitely. I don't blame you. I mean, I absolutely love and adore Nahima. And if this was like closer to bedtime, I would be like, 
not happy right now. Like I said before, anything early in the morning or late at night that's just overpowering, it instantly makes me sick. I think nauseous. anything that's yeah, overpowering and very perfumey, it's um, too much you me. struggle with. Yeah. So let's try um, some sweeter things. These are a little bit more modern. This is uh, L'Homme Ideal. Try this. It's, I'd say it's a very popular you know, designer release. Mm. I can see why. <laughs> Is that in a good way or a bad way? Just very generic. Doesn't really... That's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah. I do enjoy it from it's time safe. to time. It's, it's safe. very safe. It's very safe. Like, you know, if any guy wore this, I would say most ladies wouldn't be completely offended by it. But I don't find it offensive at all. It's not offensive, but it's definitely not something that gets me excited. It's not really your cup of tea, eh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not really. Amaretto doesn't do it for you. Okay, so this is a flanker to Lomi Dial. This is the Eau de Parfum. Well, that was the Eau de Toilette. A little bit more grown up, I would say. Yeah? Yeah. I, I like it a little bit yeah. better as well. I like this. This is softer. I find it's, it's a little bit more powdery. sophisticated. Yeah, it could have it some powder. Like, yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like a, a gentleman that is your age, this would definitely match very well. And when I think of this and when I smell this, this is like a 20-year-old perfume. Yeah, for sure. 20, I'm kind of glad that you said 20 that. 20 age, I would say. You know, yeah. Drugstore, maybe a high school kid. Yeah, I yeah, that one doesn't accept. But this one's nice. This is actually pretty soft, so I would actually wear this. Is this a female perfume? I mean, or is it unisex? It, it's 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 a masculine perfume, but you've I know you've really? worn it in the past, and you have complimented me on it. Actually, you've said some really nice things about it, so that. No. Just push me to go buy it. I wouldn't have purchased <laughs> really? it otherwise. But yeah, I like this. I like this, but I definitely feel that this is more feminine than masculine. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I would definitely just because it's softer. This. Yeah, it's definitely softer. I think it's a, a woman can definitely pull this out. Can I put this on this side? Yeah, I like that one. Okay. And we got one more. This is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the sport. I have the the cologne as well, but you know they're all almost so similar that we won't even show it but this is the sport i don't really wear this unless you know we go to the gym and when i feel like we go to the gym you wear this at the gym it's just so light and fresh and, and no. fleeting you, you probably haven't even noticed that me wearing it it's boring but yeah it's, it's very it's not something i'd ever invest <gasps> you know what this reminds me of mm. cool water no way. Yes way. Is it because the bottle is blue? No, it's because it has that very generic clean smell to it. It is very fresh and... Do you find it aquatic at all? Like, it reminds yeah, it, you of... Yeah, this reminds me of cool water. Hmm, the I don't, I don't get version. the cool water at all. To do me, it's quite creamy and, 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 you know, it's got a nice hit of florals. Which, I... which makes it yeah. quite fresh. Some almond. I pick up a lot of almond in there. I don't pick up any. Cool water. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I, I, understandable, but again, you know, yeah, for I, somebody younger. Yeah, I feel younger. like these are, yeah, these, these two here are definitely something that I can see, like, our son's wearing in, like, five years. Okay. So, Garlon really, um... Actually, probably not focusing with you, on, but, you know, the average 20-year-old yeah. definitely would be... Well, considering, you know, our six-year-old wears Anteus and <laughs> yeah. Fahrenheit to kindergarten... <laughs> I can't imagine he'd be interested in these much, so. No. All right. Okay, so let's kind of go back to these and see if we can pick a winner. We've got... I feel um, like I already know the winner. Lum Ideal. We've, we've got Lidge. Oops. Heritage. Great picks, by the way. I think your, your, your masculine picks are much better representative of the family um, flavor here than the, your feminines were, so. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's start with vetiver. Yeah. I'll just kind of respray this. And then just give us a score, what you think. And then maybe we can pick, you know, a top three or 
in order. Ten. Ten? I, I, I'm going to go through all of them, but this one is, I would say, the best. You think so? Yeah. All right, let me smell the other ones. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Next, we need coffee beans next time. Coffee beans actually are, you know, contradictingly oh, really? um, do quite the opposite. I actually learned this from a friend. Coffee beans dry out your nose. Don't ever take coffee beans at the counter. If you have a, a bottle of water or something, you're supposed to wet your palate opposed to drying it with coffee beans. It's just a, a myth. Probably much cheaper than handing somebody a, a bottle of water. This is still better than that one. So vetiver. Yeah, I like okay. vetiver. So we know, let's just say vetiver is number one. Is that safe to say? Yeah, let's um, I know this definitely isn't going to be because it didn't really do anything. Can I smell You're not smell supposed this one? to ruin it. Let's, let's go through, okay, let's, so you've just smelt this one. Yeah. Okay, so you want to smell Lidge. I would, I would rate that like a seven out of 10. You like it? I, I like this one too. I'm really surprised you do. I feel like this is hard between those two. Well, they're both built around patchouli and I'm not surprised that you do prefer that one because it is um, softer and creamier and, and less abrasive. Bless Excuse you. Um, do you want to smell this one again? No. That's heritage. No, no I want the better one. Because that's the one that I like. The... Okay. I'm... Okay. I like... I, I'm going to give this one a 10. Like, if I, I... I really do like this one a lot. I like them both. But if I'm thinking about overall everyday use, something where I feel like I'm going to get value for my money and not just wear, like, occasionally, I, I would pick this one. What's Lidge. this one called? Lidge? It's called L'Enstant de Guerlain. Oh. Oh, extreme. Wow. That's the winner. You, really? Number yeah. one? I like that one the best. So, Lidge number one and Vetiver number two? Yeah. Whoa, and Heritage three. Is that what you're saying? Or is um, Lomi Dial number three? No, it would definitely be the last one. So, it'd be one, two, three, four. So, Heritage number three. And L'Omidial Eau de Parfum number four. Wow. I never would have expected like any of the top three to be in this order. Really? Yeah, knowing your tastes. Um... I guess you don't know my tastes. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm so glad that we did this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent. Okay, so is there anything else that you want to let, you know, the viewers know? No, no. So these I just... are all like generic or old yeah i just i mean these two specifically mm -hmm. these didn't really do anything for me like they're very very generic um and i you know being a little bit older definitely would not be drawn to this scent if a male was wearing this i'd be like i think you kind of feel about that in, about most designers in general i can okay so if if we talked about this six years ago I definitely would have probably given much different opinion on them because I wasn't exposed to perfume like Jen and only because of you I think I've brought in my horizons palette my perfume palette um, but yeah definitely definitely this one I like that one best. okay ledge vetiver heritage I want to thank you for you know doing this um, video with us uh, for our viewers, and uh, if you haven't already, be sure to uh, RSVP the boutique if you're interested in the VIP event and uh, be entered into the raffle for a 500 mil um, white B bottle. Anyone want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again for uh, the tenth day of 12 days of Guerlain. Take care. See you then. Bye for now.